Elysium's Game Design Tips Number 14 Bad Games If you're a game designer, or someone who wants to work with games in any extent, you should be playing bad games. You don't have to beat them, you don't have to, uh, pay for them, but you should play them. There's so much merit in playing bad games that people don't even realize. You should definitely play good games too, it's very useful to see good things done well, but an issue with that is that you're probably invested in a good game, and aren't analyzing it as much since that would take you out of it. When you play a bad game, however, you probably aren't as invested in it, if at all. This lets you analyze it a lot more since you aren't worried about ruining your experience. The amount of information you gain on what not to do from a bad game is probably more than you gain on what to do from a good game. This is mostly down to the fact that what works well in one game might not work well in yours, but something bad in one game will very likely always be bad in any game. Learn from others' mistakes so that you don't make them yourself. 